I've never won any money in in the Leech Tile Arena, so maybe today will be the day, but we'll see. Six, okay, Tile Arena three, starting four, in a few three, seconds. Two, one, Here we go. Zero. Let me try and devote full focus. Playing Flawless Fighter. Layout should be okay. We'll play 95. This is one of my go-to London lines. Queen c7, knight f3, it's all theory. Knight e4 is common, h6 is common too. Uh, I think I studied queen d3 here, threatening mate. But now what to do? Thinking about take take g4, but looks a little bit too risky. We got some interesting structure. Yeah, e4 is a threat to play queen d2. A little bit less space, not the most pleasant, but trying to hold my ground. Down a lot of time so far. That's a good move. Still trying to hold my ground. Rook d3. I have queen d7, rook e7. I think this is okay. Is e4, I have uh, queen d4 as well. So I want to provoke rook e7. Maybe not. So I want a pawn. Yeah, my opponent probably overlooked this move. But it's still not easy. Yeah, queen e7 is annoying. To play knight e1. This pawn's kind of hanging. Rook d2, man. I have this move. F5's attacked. I'll play knight g3 and go after e4. Very tricky position. Materials equal. Oh no. It's still okay. Turning this now. Oh, this is bad. Some practical chances.
Uh, yeah, that's not working. Uh, what to do? Got all played. Good game, though. Got a little bit low on time there. Okay, got my heart rate pumping. Welcome back, Richter's neighbor. Cannot be in do with that. Yeah, I cannot be in getting low on time. Okay, playing Ailer Snow. It'll be a long tournament, so gotta keep composure. Let's play some, some kind of English. Playing a very simple, like, Italian setup. D6 castling. Bring the knight around. When I was younger, I, um, I had a book on the English opening by Karpov. And there were a lot of positions that showed the setup for black. It looks pretty solid. Play Rook. I'll play Queen E7. Maybe go for some Knight Maneuver along with F5. And King H8 is useful. Yeah, the Bishop can exert some X-ray vision. Uh... Play this first. Take with queen. F5 should come with tempo. Okay, time management is much better this game. C5, D5, Knight D6, Bishop E6. Should probably include f6 at some point. Wow. Okay, so the bishop will transfer to b8. Take, take. Oh, very tricky. If I took there's bishop a3, so I'm holding off on taking the pawn. I'm going to plan this way knight f5 and eventually capture the pawn. There is a weirdly similar theme in um, a game between Fabiano and Ali Reza today. Ali Reza had a pawn like very far advanced on d6, but it just survived there somehow. Um, I think here I can take and take. Take immediately. Because queen b4, I have rook d8. Oh, there's rook a7. That's not good. Queen a3. Oh, queen a3, knight c8. Okay. Maybe by some miracle, I'll, I'll hold on here. I am temporarily up a pawn, but I'm under... A huge amount of pressure. White has a monster bishop. So always keep in mind these ideas. So queen a4. Hey, rook e8. Oh, but c6 is hanging. Yeah, I just have to deal with it. Rook g8. So at least these things are defended. Queen g5 on tap. Still up on time. Some sack opportunities. Yeah, 
That's a move. Rook c8. Because um, rook a8, I take the bishop. Confusing position. Knight is going hoppity hoppity. Oh no. Okay. Chess is a draw. Chess is a draw. Okay. <laughs> I was up on time most of that game, and then opponent played well. A bishop pair became strong. Thank you, It's Potzer and Iskarol Pust. Happy 15. All right. I do have the smart Berserk extension, so I guess I'll follow it. I've yet to win a game this tournament. But at least I'm on the scoreboard. Knight a3 here. Um, bishop e3 and knight c4. I think it's already looking winning. Like very winning. Because a rook is stuck. And the knight doesn't even get trapped. Alright, that was a cool opening trap. Up a full rook. So now it's about time management, trying to ensure that I don't get too long on time. F4. I'm trading a bit. Now E7 can sometimes be weak on the half open file. Like Bishop moves, I have knight d2 hitting the rook and the pawn. Okay, queen e3. Got my connect four, connect three. Yeah, five is a nice way to make progress.
still takes a little bit of work to break through. I want to play knight g5, f6, knight e6. Here we go. Getting closer. Kudos to Bach for resisting, though. Being lost for so many moves. Okay, I'm just simplifying. Plenty of time. Uh, where's my mate? Do it the old fashioned way. Okay. All right, 170. <laughs> the prediction is over. Oh, 92. Let's go. Okay, I've leapfrogged a lot of people with that win. Got some berserking points. Oh, playing Galakomsky. All right. Komsky doesn't appear to be streaming. He could be, but um, who knows? So it's a King's Indian attack. Yeah, this is my go-to setup. I delay C5. So I don't weaken d6. And the idea is to play this and this. Sometimes a5, a4. Uh, let's play knight c6. King side's a little bit loose. But bishop h6, I have bishop f8. Um, h4 is a good move. King h8 and h6, I guess. Yeah, Komsky's probably pretty well versed in these positions. It's already a big concession. Oh no, it's a good move. Not losing though, at least immediately. I'm trying to keep the time advantage. F6. Six, take, take. F6 doesn't work. Rook g8. That's such a sad move. The idea is to give a square for one of the minor pieces. Oh, it doesn't, ah, it doesn't work. To take with queen. Oh, that's not good. Don't hurt me. Oh, I got baited. Yeah, he played a good game. That was like a, a quintessential King's Indian attack. Got squeezed and then got turned into juice. What to do? Thank you, streams on Twitch. Happy 22 months. All right, so I've won one, lost two. I'm not going to berserk. <laughs> Opponent's a grandmaster. 
It's slightly low rated, but uh, I'll show some respect. I think knight a4 is acceptable. Yeah, this is slightly new territory. D6 a move. Probably not. Almost works though. Play knight h3 first. Do I want to trade queens? Also probably not. So h6 I can play this, and then if we trade I defend the pawn with a knight. C4 probably should come at some point. Because if Ampassan, I take back with Pawn and hopefully get in C4. Also, now F5 is attacked. Which like, I didn't even realize until just then. <sighs> Can I go full ham on the king side? Bishop d6 is playable, I think. But maybe bishop h4. A g5 looks super risky. Even though it would win a piece. Okay, the plan is to triple up. Attack the pin pinned knight. We could play c3. Some d4 prospect. I really want to take the bishop. Bishop takes, I take the knight and then take on d5. I will be down. Oh no, in that line, I'm, I'm not down material. I'm down to exchange for a couple pawns. Okay, now I have two minor pieces for the rook. Also a pawn extra. Interesting game. Rook's attacked, rook d8, it's not played. So I could take the rook. So it takes, I have d4. And now I'm happily up a piece. Yeah, the dust is settling. Still kind of pinned. Defend. King is very safe. Ooh. Okay, probably should not have allowed that. There, there, there. Just play this. I 
Rook e3, queen d2. I still want to play h3. Knight is too annoying here. Oh, it's also annoying there. I gotta move faster. Oh man. Okay, I'm winning on time. <laughs> God, way too long on time there. Oh man. Thank you, M Junior Golf. Or MJR Golf. I appreciate the sub and the message. Okay. Stafford Gambit time. Double berserk. Oh, this is a fun one. This is a very fun one. And d4 doesn't really help. So queen f3, I have 95. Otherwise, yeah, white's in trouble. That's a tricky move, though. Take. It should be fine. Yeah, this line could get messy, potentially. Queen F3 is coming. Okay, I managed to say of a piece, but my knight is a bit stuck. I'm losing the knight. Also, I have this move. I spent a lot of time there. So, rook e2, knight f1. Maybe rook f1. Actually, knight f1 looks better. Yeah, knight is saved. Yeah, this is the beginning of the end for white. Or the end of the end. Okay. That was nice. Yeah, the Stafford Gambit line, I mean, it's like crushing for black, but it got a little bit tricky there. So top 60. Nice to be on a streak. Three hundred forty players here. Playing Vova Chess. I've definitely played the Stafford against Vova Chess before. Yeah, this is um like a bad version of the Scotch for white. But how do I punish it? A little bit greedy there. I did win a pawn. White's getting some compensation. 
queen h4 threatening bishop g4 also getting off the d file okay i want to play knight e5 I can take this. Rook takes, I win the rook. Queen takes, I take and win a pawn. B6, bishop b5. Some knight d4 move. Bishop b5, rook e6. It's hard to defend f3. So there is f4, knight f3, king h1. Let's play this. So both pawns are hanging. Take rook b4, take, take. I think it's okay. I defend and win a pawn. So I'm up four pawns now. My knight is surviving. Okay, that was a pretty clean game. Just won a lot of pawns. And pretty early on, too. Uh, I guess I'll berserk. If it's telling me to berserk, I gotta follow it. Try and ride the wave of momentum. It is nice when berserking like provokes my opponent to berserk back. So the idea is queen h3 and then get some attack. Queen is very nicely placed here. Take with pawn or bishop. I'll take with bishop. No more knights on the board. Mm. Soon to be no more bishops on the board. F4. The queen side's pretty much locked down. I want to play this. That's annoying. H5, G4, and F6. Checkmate? Unexpected checkmate. A uh, sneaky queen. Okay. <laughs> I'll take that. 22nd place on a four game win streak. Yeah, that was a hard fought game. Okay, still a lot of chess to go. Just past the half hour mark. Oh, playing Tamo Jerry. We played OTB in, I think, Abu Dhabi. I forget the game, though. 
I remember like preparing against this opponent. They're a very strong bullet player, so Berserking was maybe not the best decision. That's a good move. Actually, I'm in just in trouble here. They're there. I think I have to sack a pawn. Yeah, Bishop F4 is coming. It's not pleasant. Take, take, knight, c5. My hope is the light squares will treat me well. Like bishop b7, f3. Try this first. Rook d1 and then queen f3. Threatening this now and this. Oh no, my bishop. So I'm threatening mate. King g1, I have other mate. How does white defend? Bishop e3, I take. Rook e7, I take. Somehow I think it's winning. Okay, that was very fortunate. Got the berserking points there too. Compensation worked out. 14th place. Two berserk wins in a row. Playing this person, Cal Berserk back. Have a Dutch, I'll play London. Idea F6 or F3, like reverse Stonewall. I'm just trying to be solid. If I can win C6 and the rest of the pawns are weak. Fives attack twice. A fours attack twice. <laughs> Prevent rook d two. Mm. 
Oh no. I don't know what just happened there. And I lost the rook at some point, but I won on time. The final position is theoretically drawn. Did black have mate though? Oh, black can't play king f2. It's almost mating, um, but not quite. Okay, heart rate over 150. I'm ahead of Rebecca Harris, top 10. Oh, man. It's nice that um, at least the last few opponents have berserked back. It doesn't get easier. So C3 Sicilian. Yeah, we've played a lot recently. Knight A3. And Bishop D3. Play bishop b7. Yeah. A common trap. Do I have f5 rook c8? I have to go for it. I'm losing too much material though. I mean, bishop b7 is simple. I'll try and fight. Miracles are very possible to happen, as we saw in the previous game. Queen b6. Queen b6, bishop c6. Might as well try it. Maybe f4, f4, g5. Ah, e6 is hanging. Let's still go for this. Trying to create some complications. I'm busy before. Okay. Yeah, this move's coming, but then queen here. Oh, good move. That's not pleasant. That's very unpleasant. This move just, yeah, it crushes me. Okay. <laughs> Knight defends the bishop, attacks the queen, defends the rook. Ugh, that alignment. Everything went wrong. Yeah, someone call an ambulance for me. Okay, I'm just berserk. I'm trusting the extension. Okay. Some Kali or London, maybe, whatever this is.
slightly unusual structure. Probably get rid of the knight. Check, take, play rookie eight. Down on time, but position's very, very good. Okay, a pretty clean game. Back in the top 10, one point ahead of Rebecca Harris. We're probably bound to play at some point. I'm playing this player again. Yeah, we drew earlier. That was a crazy um, like minor piece ending. It's kind of like a reverse Cambridge Springs, but I have a good bishop. And take... So b5 I can take. Probably threatening to take here. Take the bishop. E4 looks interesting. E4, bishop, g6, though. If I take... It's awkward for black to recapture. As takes allows takes. Knight's pinned. B5 on Passan. I could throw in g4, g4, b5. Spending too much time takes. Let's try it. Okay, so b5, queen f, oh wow. I didn't see that coming. f4? Um, 
So e5 out of this move. Rook H4, I have this move. There's also Knight F3, no. Try this. Scary, because takes. But then maybe I just take back. Take on A6. The rook's just trapped. Queen e7, king f1. What a funny square for the rook. I am temporarily down a piece, though. Queen h6 is an idea. A crazy position. H4 coming. H4, rook H2. Oh, queen H4 loses a rook. Okay, keep the attack. I'm hitting the pawn too. Knight 4 attacking, defending. Also, this is hanging. I just castle. A funny move. Unexpected. Defending the rook and the pawn. Oh no, my queen. Uh oh. Oh no, my king. Uh. <laughs> I didn't see what to do. I'm just getting mated. Uh. Oh, I thought I was so clever too. Crossing was such a bad move. Oh, I'm so sad. I've only had three seconds. Is there any hope? No, I'm box just mating. Ah. Uh. What a crazy, crazy game. I uh, felt like I was in good, very good control towards the end, too. Yeah, just a little bit over creative with uh, castling. Okay, I can't let that tilt, tilt me too much. Oh, playing Tamo Jerry again. Can we berserk? Okay, berserk time. Ah, uh, this one so it takes and queen d2. It's a very sharp line. this now. No rush to take the knight.
Oh no. Letting another one slip. Uh, have a good position. I'm not getting, um, I'm probably getting mated. Ah. Oh, it's a funny mate. Yeah. What to do? I miss C2 is hanging. So knight d5. Uh, was there a simple approach? I guess taking with other knights. It's still a bit tricky though. Maybe I should have played king c1 first. Thank you, pesky forks. Okay, still doing well overall. I mean, not the end of the world. Still two hours to go. Okay. Stafford Gambit time. This is one way to hopefully overcome tilt and hopefully not tilt more. So this is probably the most common moves. This should be threes playable. Yeah, so Castling and Rook F1 are most played. Bishop E3 loses a pawn. Yeah, objectively, this line is fine for white, but I think Bishop E3 is a mistake because of this. And then this. Yeah, this line can be very effective for Blitz. So threatening g5. Rook is pinned to the h2 square. White wants to play e5. So let's start with f6. Trying to prevent this and prepare this. Oh, thank you, Diego Aquila. Anti tilt bits. Thank you, Mulfer. Happy 15. Ah, uh, that's the point. And this should be good. Start with rook h4. Going after b2. I didn't want to allow queen b2, rook f8. Yeah, well, up a minute. Material wise, it's, um, it's tricky. Can I take this? And take. I just want to play rook h8 and mate. Rook f8 is coming. Mm -hmm. 
We do have time. It's a risky line. Queenie one's idea. Winning and <laughs> winning on time is also an idea. Okay. Check. Defending. Attacking. Capturing. Okay, I'm taking a small break. Um, I have an appliance that won't stop beeping. It's low battery I have to take care of. So I'll be right back. I appreciate the hype and all the subs. Um, thank you. Oh, and all the bits too. Fang Duster, Big Head Joel, Rafa, Rafaskarov. I'll be back in just a moment. Okay. Oh, thanks for the chair cheer, Pawn Masur. Okay, playing Vladimirovich. Who is this? Andrekin? Or I think this is Andrekin. Okay, let's play C3. Take. This is the trickiest way to play in this move order. I feel like I've looked at this at some point. Bishop g5. It was g5 I have. Wait a minute. I take. And defend. Put a queen side down to e7. The idea is of like taking a queen up three. C6 looks playable too. Because if takes, 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 I take on e7 in the end. Develop with tempo. Wow. I think this is okay, actually. Because I have um, bishop b5 hitting the knight, and wait, I just miscalculated. Oops. Okay, so I lost back the pawn. We traded rooks. Rook d7 idea. Yeah, the game keeps going. Uh, 
Uh, that's a good move. Mm. I think I have to take. So I'm calculating a uh, rook eight here, 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 hitting both pawns. That's a move. Okay. Both pawns are hit. Bishop g7 probably be played. Or not. Oh, very tricky. I used to put the knight here in checkmate. Oh, I don't have that move. Yeah. To play this, I'm probably worse. Trying to salvage a draw now, threatening perpetual. Uh. Everything's falling. Ah, uh, uh, to do. I want allies a little bit. Is there anything missed? Engine says it's, ah, I missed knight h4. I was scared the king was going to run and this would happen, but I have rook b7. That was a good position. What to do? Still doing well overall. 33 points. And leader has 67. Fifth place isn't too far away. It has a cool opening. I don't get that uh, that line too often. Oh, uh, to play here. Let's play something traditional. May have lost a pawn, but I don't think it's takeable. Even still, I have c6.
take an a6. Not the most pleasant, but let's see. C5 doesn't work. It's probably bad. C5 is coming. But I have this move. C5 is still probably a huge headache. That move too. Good move. Yeah, I'm just losing. Uh, any tricks? Like, there's not much I can do here. Take doesn't work. Yeah, well played. Uh, I got into trouble. It's probably already bad after a6. Maybe I have to play a6 myself. Okay, what to do? Life goes on. Well, London. had bishop g4 earlier. Okay, this is more traditional line. Yeah, now e7 looks natural. Um, it's playable. Yeah, f5 was a threat. Black has a little bit of pressure here. C3 is a big weakness. Knight here is useful. It helps defend, maybe get an outpost, maybe attack. So this prevents rook b3, many lines.
Rook B2 is coming. Doesn't work. Let's try this. Open file. Queen C oh no, Queen C one. F three rook B two. Nah. That's not good. Oh, nice move. Uh, tough position. And time situation. Trying to create a fortress, but... It's not going to help. Oops. There goes my thing. I'm so happy. I mean, that's why I wasn't resigning. <laughs> I was not expecting that to happen, though. I mean, black can just queen. There's no need to take the knight, but wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, it's a miracle. Yeah, that's one reason to not resign. Yeah, I mean, a lot of players, when you're black in that situation, it's just, it's easy to get impatient. And that's basically what happened. Okay. Always need at least one of those for a, a tournament like this. Casting queenside, wow. Okay, let's go full crazy mode. Sack the knight. Opponent's not taking it. C6 is coming. Not terrible, though. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, it's really bad, too. Mm. Yeah. What to do? We have seen miracles happen in the past, in the very recent past.
Okay. <laughs> a miracle is not happening in that game. Back to tournament. All right. It's been a while since I've been on a streak. We're approaching the halfway point. I think for much of that game, I was trying to still process the previous game. All right. Oh, playing Maradli. Strong player. Okay, being solid. Hey, it's Lucky's guy. Thanks for the five gifted. Appreciate that. This position's not super pleasant. I'm trying to hold on. Queen c5, rook a5. He wanted to set up this, but some funny alignment. That knight was overworked. Ah, there's a snow. Wait, what's happening? Yeah, I just lost a piece. All the things are. Never mind. Do. Well played. <laughs> uh, what to do? Good game. Okay, let's try and uh, rebuild. I see three tricky line. Joe Bava, London. Yeah, so there's a line like knight c6, bishop b5, bishop b7 takes, bishop takes here, here, and then e6. I think this is a game between Leslie So and Taba Tabai. Yeah, I think I have to allow the queen trade. 
Like I'm down a pawn, but there's positional compensation. There's a structure. Like we might see e5. Casting's coming. Yeah, I do want to take. Yeah, this does not look good for me. Can I sack? Sacking might be me, might be my best hope. Even though it looks very questionable. Going for H5. Really? I don't want to take that. Um, a difficult position. Yeah, my king is forever stuck. Or my uh, my rook is forever stuck. Black win. Uh, wait, what? Yeah. 
Okay, good fight. Uh, I survived longer than I should have, probably. Top 50. Yeah, it's been a rough patch. But I'll try and... Uh, I'll try and break the losing streak, how about? Um, Berserk. I feel like my win rate with Berserking has been above average. This forces me to play quicker. No! That was a mouse slip. I meant to play Bishop G4. <laughs> so I'm giving time and material odds. Uh, maybe there's some compensation. Just maybe. Have to treat this as a gambit. If I somehow don't lose this, it's going to be an absolute miracle. Does the opponent want to draw? Really? No, let's play for a win. <laughs> I'm playing for a win, despite the, uh, the material gift. Probably not the best decision. Oh, I went to play queen c4. <laughs> queen c4 would have given me counterplay too. Uh, I don't know why I'm mouse slipping so much in the one game. How bad, how bad is it after queen c4? Yeah, queen c4 blocks better. Oh, that's so sad. Oh no, my queen. Thank you, Bledgeman. Happy 22. All right, playing King's Crusher. Who's not berserking back? One of the OG streamers. I got my lines confused. This looks okay. some g4 g5 idea
And box under pressure here. That's still playable. Take, take, wait a minute, tactics? Uh, Four. Oh, but E four ninety four. Up a pawn now. See pawns ready to bolt. That was very hard to stop. Yeah, knight d6 is unstoppable. Okay. I broke the losing streak. I won a game, got the berserking points. Still a lot of chess to, to go. Okay, I've played this player many times. Uh, play Sicilian, or whatever this is. D6, bishop D7. I didn't really accomplish much with queen b6. Um, I think I want to go for like a6 and b5. Rook b8. Let's start with knight a5. I think this is only move. Yeah, it looks a little bit passive, but bishop's going to be unleashed. Takes, I take with knight. I'm probably threatening to take and then put the knight on d6. a6 is weakening. 
go for this. There's a line like takes, takes, takes. I bishop be two. It doesn't quite work though. So I'm down a pawn, but there's compensation. C file, diagonal. Bishop h6. Oh, I missed queen f4. I wonder if I can repeat and then get in queen f4. Oh, queen f4 doesn't even win anything. The thing's defended. Oops. Do I have... Wait, do I have this now? Take... I can take knight c4. Triple fork. Just a lot of line spots. Take with bishop... Probably want to go for a5 very soon. Or b5. Yeah, now the file's guaranteed to open, which means white's in, in a lot of danger. Rook a8 is coming. Okay, kind of a weird game. I got the job done. All right. Oops. Uh, I did not have a chance to even try and berserk back there. Okay, this one. Yeah, knight c3 is slightly dubious because of this line. So this is one idea. Ooh. Oops. Okay, it's not that bad, actually. I should have been aware of d6, though. I think king d1 is necessary. Ooh. So I'm putting this and this. And now king moves to the d-file of rook d8. Or bishop e3. Almost a mating nut. That's a good move, though. I block the tack. Guaranteed discoveries. Actually, I'm threading made in one. Where is my mate? Check. 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 Hmm. 
Feels close. I should just move quickly, but it's an interesting position. I'll take a pawn. Check. Check. Why is it so frustrating? There we go. No, my beloved pawn. Oh, I was so slow. <laughs> uh, I was trying to calculate the mate, and I don't think there was mate. Um, yeah, I should have just moved quicker. My biggest advantage was minus five. Oh yeah, when I was up a piece. Oh, what to do? <laughs> A lot of mischances there. I didn't lose. Top 50 still. I'm trying um, Clamingo. I have a good score against this player. E4 is maybe slightly questionable. I'm just trying to get activity. Threatening this. There, there. Hmm. Play queen a3. Actually, queen b4. Keeping the threat. I feel like a beginner, like moving my queen so many times in the opening. I should develop. <laughs> now moving my bishop multiple times. Uh, this move? No. Up a pawn, I'm down a lot of time.
Am I losing? No, I'm not. I'm probably worse so. Yeah, I'm down a pawn. Some pawn race. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. No. I'm so sad. Uh, I was set up beautifully, too. I was really set up beautifully. Okay. We got, uh, we got it once this tournament. Berserk, really? Okay. London time. Number 50. Okay, let's try and stay in the top 50. Have to keep some composure. So with queen e7, knight e5, preventing pawn e5. Bishop d7. A slightly strange move. Oh, thank you, Gary. Gifting to Jack and Z. Okay, let's play f4. So we have a stone wall setup. G4 is ready to come. Rook H3 as well. A very difficult position for Black. The G6 diffuses a bishop, but weakens F6. So G6 runs into this move. And I'm threatening to take and take. I guess h6 is the best try. But now g4. Yeah, using all my attacking resources. That's pretty much the dream attack. Got the rook. Oops. I don't know what that was. Got the rook, got the bishop. Got the pawn coming to g5. V for victory. Okay, knight g4. I think this might be even cleaner. Like, knight g4 would win material, but this seems to be mating. Like, rook h8 is not working because the rooks are not connected. It's a free queen. Mm. 
Bach is fighting now. Oops. That wasn't necessary. Not the cleanest conversion, but still a conversion. Okay. So that's one in a row. Let's try and make it two. Thank you, Alpha Pappers. Thank you, Echo Tezo. Two Prime subs. I'm not sponsored by any um, any chess platform. I'm a free agent, so I play more on Lee Chess, but I still play a decent amount on Chess.com as well. I usually like to play in these um, like larger tournaments, like Title Arena, Title Tuesdays. Okay, what to do? Trade. That was not a good move. Oh no, <laughs> I just got needed. <laughs> Unexpected checkmate. It should have been expected though. My king was on such a bad square. Okay, same points as Godakomsky. Uh, let's play e4, mix it up a little bit. Berserk back. Time on of time. Okay, we'll play a three. I don't usually play these structures. It's like a Schwenningen Sicilian hitting the pawn. Uh, I mean, a big idea is to get a knight to, ooh, forgot about Black's ideas. Maybe he's still okay, though. Knight c4, or queen c4, rook c1. Threatening this and this. Wow. What is this imbalance?
crazy position. A little time for both of us. Ah, uh, what to do? I mean, it was such a crazy position. It was hard to digest. Uh, taking the knight was probably bad. I probably had to go for, yeah, queen a7 and, and push. Good game, though. Playing David B. Who is this? Oh, Brodsky. Used to be a young kid. Stafford Gambit time. Had this position earlier. Bishop e3 was a mistake. Yeah, the idea is to play knight g4. This is what I like about the Stafford is the opponent drains so much time early on. And even still, it's hard to avoid the traps. To be careful though. Threading this. Threading this now. I still want to play this. Okay, I should be winning on time. Okay. A nice Stafford Gambit game. That might be the first Grandmaster I've defeated with a Stafford this tournament. Be cool to do a compilation of like beating Grandmasters with the Stafford Gambit. That doesn't happen too often. Uh, what was this move? Play this. I'm not gonna even try and win back the pawn. 
Okay, maybe I'll try it a little bit. I want to play this. I didn't want to allow C6, so that's a good move. Maybe you can still try this. Looks iffy, though. What's the best way to avoid the Stafford? <laughs> and the best approach is to like go into the Stafford and just refute it. Like it's subjectively like almost losing for black. If you want to avoid it, you can play anything other than e4 on move one. Okay, there's some compensation here. Okay, 94. It's like a reverse Catalan. Got my bishop. Knight d4 might be coming. So e5 is something to consider. It blocks a bishop, though, so I don't want to commit too soon. Maybe h5 first. I missed a fork. I saw it right after I moved to... Okay, now I have this, but not winning material. But I did get rid of the light sword bishop, and I keep my own light sword bishop. So there's compensation. So knight a5, queen b6. And the rook's tied down and attacked. I don't think I want to take it though. And go for some mating ideas. Allowing F4. Wait, take, 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 take. Go for this. Menacing formation. The idea is now to play h4, use the h-file, and eventually break through. Maybe this move. Knight c6 I can take. I'm down how many pawns? Down three pawns. There goes my rook. Down a rook and two pawns. Now the king is guaranteed to be discovered checked. A 
least a draw. If I play for a win, I might as well. Wow. I'm not sure how I won that, but somehow it worked out. Oh, man. I'm trying to get back to over 2,600. Here we go. Double berserk. This opening again. Oh, I had this earlier. Play a different style of or like compared to earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Opponent wasn't expecting G5 there. Okay, 35th. I don't know why it's telling me to berserk a GM who's almost my same rating. Okay, the troll opening. We're probably going to see a hippo. I'll try and play aggressively here. Uh, already losing a pawn. Not the highest quality chess. Some pressure, though. Wow. Okay, check and then a seven. This feels like a beginner game. Like I hung a pawn, blacks played a terrible opening. Still takes work. So knight d5 is now possible. Just want to play b4. I could have taken here. Maybe f4 coming. Oops. That's not good. Still pressure, though. I might be winning the exchange again. Oh. I was scared about back back rank issues, but what to do? Uh, yeah, I had a chance to take C7 as well. Okay, top 40. Oh, this is the person who stalemated me earlier. 
Uh, what was the opening though? Slightly different opening this time. F5 might happen or not. I'm inclined to take. Try and play very positionally. That was a blunder. Maybe it's not so bad, though. I do hit a6 and I can take with the rook. That was a big trade. That's probably worse now. Yeah, losing a pawn. Losing multiple pawns. Oh no, my pawns. All right, I'm trying to fight. Yeah, my knight is completely stuck. Only down three pawns. Could be worse. Could be down four pawns. Oh, it's getting worse. Going after G7. Wow. It does defend. Opponent's going to be ultra careful of like the stalemate tricks too. 
because of what happened our previous game. You still never know. Oh no, my rook. Okay, well played. Uh, good game. Yeah, against other players I'd probably resign, but uh, I, I was hoping for a double miracle. Yeah, at some point the queen side crumbled that game. Oh, I played this person in uh, Title Tuesday recently. I think. Also a streamer. Shout out to my opponent. I might as well take. So the idea is if it takes, I have bishop a3, queen d1, queen takes c3. I can't resist. Looks like too much fun. The king doesn't have a super attractive square. Speaking of super attractive, look at that bishop. Okay, so now the fifth rank's open. Oh, nice move like that. I never resign when you have the bishop pair. Oh, there goes half my bishop pair. There goes my king. Ah, I forgot how the knight moved for a moment. Okay, 41st place, what to do? Had a good position, had a really nice bishop. So 54 points, just under 31 minutes left. Um, try and get on a streak, how about? Let's hold off on berserking. Okay, this is one of the more critical lines. Oh, what's the theory here? There's some line where we sack the knight. I'm forgetting the theory.
I mean, these lines generally just lead to really complex positions. Like I'm down two pawns, but a lot of pressure. Knight b3 ideas. Knight's pinned. Queen's a bit of a target. If bishop d7, I think I can take. It takes its mate. Bishop g7. Knight b3. Getting some time advantage. So now I think the threat is knight d4. Knight d4, queen c5. Some a3 move. Also, no, I can't take. Very, very confusing line. Now if I take... So, looks like I'm winning material, but maybe not. Probably not. Unless I have F3. Takes. Let's try this. Oh, good move. Okay, I'm down two pawns. What to do? Living on the edge, literally. So confusing.
Wow. I went on time. I'm not sure how that happened, but I guess I'll take it. Oh. I should have been losing at so many points that game. I really have to learn that line. It's like one of the more critical London lines. All right, not playing the London. Uh, I would have berserk back, but okay. We have one of these. Um, let's take a Grand Prix attack. Hitting two pawns. Uh, have to take. Oh, this is looking good. Threatening this. I think the idea is to lift the other rook to h3. Yeah, King G8, I think I can take. Because I remove the queen and then win the thing. That was nice. Top 40. Two in a row. So this next game will, if I win, I leapfrog a lot of people. So I probably don't want to berserk. Oh, maybe I should have. Have some Italian. Okay, it's getting getting crazy. I have to save the bishop. The center is just exploding.
There's a pin to annotate. That's a move. And my bishop's actually kind of out of play. Take and miss. That is first. My bishop is so bad. What's that Drake song? I like bad bishops. That's my problem. Uh, let's play this. Maybe I can win a4. Maybe not, but maybe, maybe, there we go. Oh, my bishop. Okay. Dirty flag incoming. It's hard for white to untangle. I'm triangulating or trapezoidalating. Oops, I, I repeated. <laughs> oh, I was trying to move in a trapezoid. What to do? Okay, I think a draw is a fair result. There goes my streak, though. All right, not too much time left. Um, Queen F3 is interesting. D5. What is this line? E4, take, take. Okay. Inventing some new... New opening here, a fresh invention. It's like a Halloween London, but I sacked a rook. Okay, I won, I won a knight, so I'm down the exchange. Play this move. Moving way too slowly. I mean, the knight should be eventually trapped. Develop. That's not good. Maybe it's not bad, though. Mm. 
Uh oh. That's really not good. I'm down two exchanges. Might win one back, but might not. Hey, it's a triple fork. Let's go. Oh, my king. Oh. Uh, oh, well, saw it coming. Okay. Uh, it's towards the end of the tournament. My only way to get to top 30 is to berserk. And win quickly with funny opening traps. Okay, the queen can't defend the bishop. The the clutch knight on a is controlling b6. Okay. All right, 38th. Chespus. Who is this? This vein. I had a similar line against Komsky earlier. Yeah, Knight's a good defensive piece here. Got my battery. Got my horsey. Let's take first. to do got my target got a pin I mean this looks crushing Everything's attacked. Oh, I'm pinned though. Wait. Take. It's been hanging for a while. Uh, what a crazy position, though.
Yeah, my bishop was pinned. Maybe it wasn't so crushing. I burned a lot of time there too. Okay, still top 40. Top 30 is going to be difficult. Okay. Berserk every game now. Yoloing. I don't think the knight is capturable. I'll just leave the knight there. Yeah, if a pawn gets to g6, and it's it leads to so many mating ideas. Hitting this and this. Interesting position. That's a pin, that's a pin. Oh, that's a good move. Black's finding good moves. Take. Okay, somehow it's still okay. Okay, let's go. Gabriella. Not a great position over d5. Idea is to take and then bishop c4. Take and win a pawn. Clever move.
Thank you, Black Ninja or Bread Ninja or Breadstick Ninja. Appreciate the gifted subs. Okay. Final position was a draw, but I'll take that. Okay. All right. Time for one more game. If I berserk win the next game, I'd probably leap into the top 30. A nice score. Yeah, this game should count for the tournament. Wondering upon. Maybe winning back the pawn. What just happened? Oh, my bad bishop again. Okay, this should be... Uh, should be winning. Let's go. Pairings are closed. Where am I? Top 30? Where am I? 30th. Oh dear. This matters for the prediction. 20, 20 something seconds left. Will I stay in the top 30? So much suspense. Who's behind me? A lot of people behind me. Like, if any of these people like win, oh, it's gonna be close. Three seconds. Hey, it's over. Thirtieth place. Let's go. Okay. Well, that concludes the tournament. Had a decent finish. Finished with three wins. 74 points. Good job to this person. Contra. Oh, this is Jospin. Jose Martinez. And then Nerditsky in what, second? Zhigalgo in third. I didn't play Nerditsky today. 
I hope people enjoyed watching. Thanks everyone for being here.